Okay, I'm Dwayne Ennis, chef of the Open Range, and we're going to talk about summer grilling tips for steaks. Two of my favorite steaks uh, for the barbecue, New York and rib chop. Two different reasons. A New York is a wonderful meaty steak, a little bit leaner, and a rib chop is a bit fattier, a little more flavor. Two interesting pieces of meat that you might want to try. This is a venison rack. It's uh, a double bone chop, bone in, very lean. Uh, really good for grilling, lower temperature, and then beside that is a sirloin steak. A sirloin steak is really great for me because I like doing different things with it. And this one is actually stuffed with some roasted red peppers and some horseradish. A fattier cut like the rib steak will flare up a bit if it's too hot, but a New York likes a nice hot grill because it's a lean meat, you want to cook it fairly quickly, but uh, it's got a nice thick uh, one inch cut to it so it can stay nice and rare and nice and moist inside. And then a venison rack because it's very lean, it's something you want to cook. You can maybe sear it really quick in the hot side of the grill, but then move it to a slower side and let it slow roast a little bit because it is lean and you don't want to dry it out too much because game meats can dry out if you're cooked too much on too hot a grill. And then a sirloin, depending on how you might stuff it or might handle it, can be hot or cold, cooler and just slow. So we like to rub our steaks down 24 hours before. So we have nice herbs, we do our own spice mixes, and then we rub them down really good, let them sit for 24 hours, and then we grill them the next day. We make all our own spice rubs for our steaks. We, uh, we like to control the flavors and we make each one individual. So the first one I have is a red chili rub. So it's a bit smoky, it's got some smoked paprika in it, as well as some dried chili. So it's got a little bit of heat, but it's not killer hot. This is what we call our Mediterranean rub. And it's got dry herbs and, and mountain teas from Greece. Uh, a little bit of, uh, of spices like um, coriander and mustard seed. And this is what we call our meat rub and it's based with juniper berries and uh, that gives it a really interesting wild uh, outback Alberta flavor if you will. Chopped herbs, big important thing for me. I love the flavor of the herbs when they smoke up on the grill. It's a nice smell too, very very good. Finish with a bit of sea salt, it melts right into the steak and then it really adds a lot of flavor. This is a chipotle barbecue sauce, so it's got a little bit of chipotle pepper in it. And the other thing here is probably the most interesting one because a lot of people don't know what it is. It's a, it's a chimichurri and that's a South American condiment for steaks. And it's made with green uh, herbs and olive oil and garlic and onions and a little bit of jalapeno pepper for heat and a little bit of lime juice. Asparagus is a pretty standard summer grilling vegetable. It's easy to handle on the grill. People always ask me when I'm grilling or when they're over at my house, why do my vegetables look so bright green and taste so good? And one of the secrets is you should always blanch your green vegetables in salt water for about 30 seconds to a minute and then ice them. And then you can hold them in the fridge for ready for when you're grilling. And then when you grill them, they stay nice and bright and the nutrients stay in them and it's way more flavorful. So I thought we'd grill a rib steak. It's, um, again, one of my most favorite cuts. Two reasons why, it's nice and fatty, so it's got lots of flavor, there's a little bit of uh, a fat through. Um, it's a nice full size steak and I love bone on steaks. A bone on steak takes a little longer to cook and always stays a little bit pink on the bone. So, which is really great because if you're trying to make your steak medium rare and not sure about testing them, you, uh, you can keep the bone on and it gives you a little bit of leeway. So if you make a little mistake and cook it a little bit more, it's still near the bone gonna be really tasty. Grill marks are always fun, so rotation, 45 degrees and 45 degrees to get that nice diamond effect on your steak. That's a rare steak and you can see it's very soft and fleshy. Next finger is a medium rare steak and it just tightens up a bit. And that's what happens when a steak cooks on the grill because it is a muscle. It tightens up a little bit. So that's how the further you cook it, the tighter it'll get. So if that's a medium rare, next one would be a medium. Next one would be a medium well. And if you go right over, that'd be a well done. And you can see I rotated the steak to a 45 and you got a nice diamond effect. It's always good, your guests will love it. They'll think you're a pro. A little bit of time and patience and you end up with a really nice steak. The real trick with the meats is that the fattier the meat, the more it might flare up. So you gotta watch it on your hot side of the grill. But you do wanna have a nice hot grill because you want the steak to cook and caramelize on the outside a little bit because it's a lot of flavor there. But the rare uh, center or the medium rare center will stay as it's a hotter grill. Um, the venison chops and the gang meats require a little less heat because they're quite lean and you can see the difference. There's actually very little marbling to that. So you wanna keep that on a little bit of a lower temperature so it doesn't dry out too much. And a sirloin is similar. And then of course we stuff this one and you can uh, cook that on a medium to high heat as well. Again, caramelization is good. The stuffing inside will warm up really nice and it'll actually flavor the steak really, really well.
And the other cut I, I was talking about is the New York, which again, a, a great grilling steak. Secret for the New York for me is to keep it thick, at least three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, because that way it stays nice and moist inside. Because again, it is one of the leaner cuts of meat. And then same thing, hot grill, good caramelization, keeps the flavor nice, and then finish it with your favorite condiment. We hope you enjoyed this cooking tip on Chomp TV. We're continually updating episodes, so be sure to check back from time to time. If you liked any of the restaurants you saw in these episodes, they're just a mouse click away on chomp.ca.